Good morning, happy 2022. It's the first vlog of 2022, I think. Buggy's home. Hi, Ollie. Hi. <laughs> you want to tell everyone why you're home today and why you're not at school? Mm. So you got so. So. Yeah. Let me clear that up. Um, their school is ridiculous. If the kid goes to the not the hospital, the nurse's office for any reason at all, they automatically just send them home to quarantine because of COVID. His stomach was hurting the other yesterday because he needed to poop, and he, for whatever reason, him and his brother both refused to poop in public. I don't know where they learned that from. It wasn't this household? Um, because one thing I'm gonna do is take a doo-doo if I got to, period. And they daddy said he pooped too, so they didn't learn this. We don't poop in public thing from us. Um, so they must learn it from somebody else. And yeah, so because he didn't poop at school yesterday, his tummy was hurting. And he P O O I did say P-O-O-P, poop. So since he didn't poop, I'm not spelling out P-O-O-P. -O -O I'm gonna say the word poop. Poop, poop, poopity scoop. So since he didn't poop, poop, poopity scoop yesterday at school, his tummy hurt. So he, did you go to the, the nurse's office because your tummy hurt or did you just tell you? No, no, just at the end of the day. Huh? Just at the end of the day. Yeah, but did you go to the, did your teacher take you to the nurse's office or did, or did? AYP did. AYP? You weren't even at school? At the end of the day, I went to a and it started to hot down, so I had to go back up to the office. At school office? Yeah, school office. He wasn't even at school. He was at right? daycare. You said you were at the NYP. Yeah, but I was at school, and then I went to the place. Oh, to get a what? To get picked up? Pick to get picked up by the NYP? Yeah, and then. This part's So you were waiting to be picked up for daycare at the AYP and you said to them, oh my tummy hurts and then they sent you to the nurse's office? That's what happened? At the end of the day? At the end of the school day? No, they helped you go to the nurse's office at the end of the school day? The so they office. brought me to the office uh -huh. and then the office brought me to the nurse's office. Mm. Cause you, your tummy was hurting, and and what did he do when he came home, ladies and gentlemen? Took a dookie and was totally fine. So now he's at home for probably could be up to the next two to three days because of COVID quarantine for a tummy ache because he needed to poop. But yeah, anyway, so we're homeschooling today and probably tomorrow. It's just really frustrating because they're behind, like in school like and they need to be in school and they like we're already trying to play catch up and catch up it's hard to play when the kids get sent home and they have nothing that the school doesn't have anything in place for them when they do get sent home like don't give them work to do nothing like so here i am like floating in the wind like, well one all of our teacher is does not communicate at all to us so I don't even know what he's like learning in class half the time. I can only figure out what he's learning in class based on the work that he brings home. Not that I'm not I'm not a fan of Oliver's teacher. She an old lady and I don't think she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I, think she, I feel like she just there for a check, but that's just me. Um oh and then the whole like them getting tested. So he has to get tested for COVID to go back to school. And so the thing is Kyle has to call the hospital to tell them, hey, I wanna make an appointment for a COVID test. And then he has to wait for the hospital to call him back to set the appointment up. And the hospital has up to 48 hours to return the call. So it could be up to two days before Kyle gets an appointment for Oliver. And then once Oliver gets his appointment, gets his test done and has a negative result, the hospital has to contact the school to let the school know that he's cleared to go back to school because this, the piece of paper that they print out with a negative result 
it's not good enough for the school. They have to hear it directly from the hospital. So like, yeah, we're looking up to like possibly three days that he could be out of school because he needed to take a shit. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Make it make sense. I said a bad word. I did. I need to put one dollar out of the um, wallet. You gonna put money out of my wallet? Yeah, one dollar. One dollar? Dang, so you're gonna rob me. You're gonna, you're gonna rob me is what you're saying? Thief? Thief? He's a thief? You trying to steal my coins? No, not because if you say a bad word, you have to own me and Desmond one dollar. Dirty teeth. I need to use her uh, dental dental life. A little funky breath. Uh. <laughs> She's so weird. <laughs> okay. At an aerial academy, we're having um a scrum diddly umptious, well prepared, well balanced meal. <laughs> We got some, uh, what, what's that, Bugs? I just pulled it out. Ah, it was stuck on your fork already. Yeah. LOL, it's probably pretty hot, so just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> we got some meatballs, some, uh... Macaroni and cheese. Your favorite thing in the world, macaroni and cheese. So we got our we got our meat. Oh, so what did we learn? Do you remember what we learned about the different food groups at science class today? Mm -hmm. So can you tell me? Can you do you think you can tell me which of these food groups each of these items come from? I don't know what this one came from because I don't know what it is. Oh, well, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni is made from pasta, and the cheese is made from. Cheese. Which is milk. Which is milk. So what's what what uh group is milk from? Uh Do you remember what it's called? Milk. Da, 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 da. I know what it is, but I can't remember the name. Dairy. It's in the dairy group. How about applesauce? What food group do you think that would go into? A liquid group? What kind of what what's applesauce made from? Applesauce. Apples, so. so fruit. Fruit. Good. How about carrots? What food group was that? Uh the I can't remember the name. Bruh. <laughs> oh. Veggies. The veggies, good. How about the cheese on your meatballs? What group is that? Cheese. Cheese group. Cheese mm. group. What's all in the cheese group? Do you remember the other things that were in the cheese group? Mm-hmm. Milk, uh-huh. Yeah. Ice cream, cream uh-huh. Yogurt. Good job. Those are all dairy. Dairy. Yeah. Dairy. Good. Good job. And then your meatballs, that's from the uh, meat. meat group. Yeah, meat, proteins. Good job. Protein group. What else did you learn in science today? Do you remember the first thing we studied about? Before we did the food groups? The five senses. The five senses. Good job. Can you tell me them real quick? Eyes. Uh-huh. Nose. Uh-huh. Mouth. Uh-huh. Ears. Uh-huh. Hands. Good job. And what are, what do you what do we do with our eyes? See. See. Smell. smell taste. taste. Hell. Feel. Feel. Good job, my man. Aerial Academy, let's go. Okay, enjoy your lunch and your recess. See ya. Oliver's in there doing math right now, and I had to walk out because I was getting really frustrated. <laughs> All right, he's going through this phase where, like, he knows everything and won't admit when he doesn't know something or, or he's wrong about something. And I don't know why, but it it drives me crazy. My little sister is the same way. And, and I guess she just never grew out of it because she still does it to this day. It makes me crazy. 
So I had to, I had to exit the room. I told him, all right, when you're done, when you just come to me. Are we finished? I'm sort of peeking around the corner. <laughs> We're doing subtraction. I was trying to show him like how to find the difference by counting up from the smaller number, you know, you know, six minus 12, count up from six, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, whatever your fingers are, that's the answer. And like, <laughs> if we get the answer wrong, and then I'm like, no, that's not the answer. And it's like, oh, what? I meant to say this, or I meant to say that, or I know, I meant to do this, I meant to do that, or I write something backwards and, oh, I meant to do that, or like, I'm like, bro, no, you didn't. You said it wrong, because you was wrong. Just say, oops, I was wrong, my bad. I don't know why. It infuriates me. It makes me so upset. Oh, I, I really had to walk out. I said, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna let you do your mouth the way you do your mouth, and I'm, I'm gonna just go. Well, let me know when you're done. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't right now. I need a break. <laughs> How do you, does this, does it end? How do you curb, how do you stop this from becoming a personality trait of always being right, even when you're wrong? And just admitting when you're wrong, like, oops, my bad. Like, how do we, how do you fix that? I keep telling him it's okay to be wrong. You don't have to be right about everything. You don't know everything. I don't know everything. I'm not right about everything. When I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I keep repeating these things will, will make him stop or what, but I need, I need something. If anyone has any hints, tips, tricks, let me know. Cause yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go to Google for this here in a minute. Cause I can't, I can't deal with that. I can't. All right, math time's almost over. We learned how to tell time earlier this week when he was home on Monday with me. It's Thursday, by the way. Um, he's still home from school on Monday. And so we were reviewing telling time. And so he's in here playing a game to practice setting a clock, an analog clock. He's doing a pretty good job. 2 p.m. For anyone who wants to know, this is just on abc.com. They have all types of games and activities by grade level and by subject area as well. What's wrong? Oh, PM. PM. Okay. Good job. I'm dead. So we just did our music lesson and I just pulled up some videos on like learning like rhythm, like just counting, like trying to count or clap on beat cause all three of them ain't got no rhythm. Um, but anyway, so <laughs> that's what our music lesson was for today. And so one of the videos, it went like the first like few, like it was different, we were clapping through different genres of songs. And it's so funny because the first few songs were clapping on beat and then like as we got through it They were more going towards the off beat clapping on the off beat And he struggled to clap on beat, but he did much better clapping on the off beat <laughs> like, I'm like bruh. Oh for me, I don't know clapping uh, like the off beat is harder for me than clapping on beat um, but I just thought it was really funny that he ain't got no rhythm, but he can clap on the off beat. But I guess that makes sense if you ain't got, if you, if you can't find a beat, you can find the off beat though, maybe, perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but our school day is over. It's 2.30, 2.40 actually, so I'm going to finally get some video editing done. So I just recorded my first video for 2022 and, um, yeah, can you believe I put a little makeup on? Like, what? Who is she? Who is she? I literally just do some eyeliner on, cause on uh, my camera, my camera back there, like it's not super close to my face, so you can't really see the details too much. Um, so I'll be looking, I'll be looking all right from back there, but up close it's a little, she a little uh, busted, but it's fine, it's fine. Do a little lipstick on too. Um, but yeah, so I just did a video of me reacting to my 2021 goals video. <laughs> Um, 
and it's like a, uh, it's like 4:15, and I feel like my husband should be home by now. So I'm gonna go um, see if he's here. If not, then wait. Well, yeah. He's not home yet. Wait, well, yeah. Uh-uh. He out there with another woman. Oh my. Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> That's funny. There he is. It's my man's. He got booty shorts on. <laughs> Here he is. It's my son. Hello, my favorite eight-year-old boy. <laughs> you don't like my song? You don't like my welcome jam? Song? Yeah, I just made it up right now. Just now? Yeah, I made it up just for you. Nice. <laughs> How was your day, buckaroos? Good. Good? Yay, I'm happy to hear that. Where's your daddy at? Oh, he's downstairs. He's um, pooping. He's pooping. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they're pooping. In the garbage. He's pooping in the garbage. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh, I said, I don't know. I moved the living room around. I don't know if you guys could tell. Um, I, uh, it all started last week. What? What you singing? <laughs> anyway, it all started when I moved the sofa because I needed to vacuum underneath it because I could see it was dirty. So I moved the sofa to vacuum under it. And then as I moved it, I was like, ooh, let me rearrange some things. And I moved the sofa probably about like five different times in like different and, positions. And then me and dad came home. Uh-huh. And um, you used, had to listen to... <laughs> All day long. <laughs> That's the sound of me moving the sofa, I assume. Yep. Uh -huh. And Mickey. Oh, uh, Mickey, our downstairs neighbor. <laughs> had to hear it. Well, she had to hear okay. it the last like hour I was moving the sofa. Daddy said, just doing this, Mickey can hear us. This is true. So. <laughs> You think that doesn't make Mickey here? No, I never I never said that she did. I totally agree with you wholeheartedly. I'm just saying she okay. wasn't home until yeah. the, the last hour of me moving the sofa. That's all I'm saying, mister. But anyway, this is the new layout. I think it looks much better. Obviously, she is still bare bones in here. Very minimal uh, furnishing. <sighs> I'd finish it, but I got cut off from spending so Oh, she looking cute. <laughs> Hi. Who is this? I don't know you look like a little scrub muffin. <laughs> New muffin. That's what I was gonna say. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I recorded a video, so you know, put a little paint on the old barn. But um, I was saying, yeah. What was I saying? Oh. oh I got worm juice on my hands. Ew, so. worm juice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got cut off from uh, spending money, so I can't finish my living room yet. I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the funds to uh, replenish. replenish. <laughs> so long gone are my days of internet shopping. Well, not long gone, but temporarily gone on my days of internet shopping.
follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the sin. You know, you know, you know, you did. <laughs> oh, look, you attack her. She protect and attack. Yeah, she over here pruning her neck. <laughs> Dang, he about knocked your move away. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this season finale. That's that is not a season finale. <laughs> <laughs> we. You are naked, don't do that. <laughs> you pasty, look at him. I know, Look stop. how white this man says. <laughs> Oh, he's looking like raw chicken titty. Damn. <laughs> at least give me rotisserie chicken credit. I got some, I got some spice here and there. Little Cause... herbs and seasonings. Um, that is hair. Facial hair. Anyway. Kind of. There you go. Ew. You stop. <laughs> oh, that pleasant moment. Anyway, we are about to watch. Oh, I had it. Anyway, we are about to watch the season finale of what season is this? 13? Yeah, season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Without spoiling too much, who are you team? I'm going to say someone's going to pull it through. She's going to clutch it. I am team. I'm team. I'm, I'm Team Simone too. <sighs> Alright, we'll see though. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, on that note, go ahead and today's vlog. Um, I wanna see, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to this episode. I was gonna go ahead and be all ready. Bing bong. Bing bong. Um, but yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me. Um, and I see you in the next video. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. I like you care. I can't even look at the people and say bye. <laughs> bye bye.